Australia now has one of the world's most advanced scientific devices. It will allow scientists to view even the tiniest of molecules. They call it a synchrotron. It's a machine about the size of a football field that will revolutionise the way scientists look at small stuff. It'll be used to look at samples that scientists will bring in here. We can look at molecules, we can look at atoms, we can make smoother chocolate, we can look at what your body is made of. It really is the new age of... Hang on, did he say smoother chocolate? It can make chocolate better by looking at the molecules that are in chocolate and making them smaller and smoother. There are only 40 of these massive machines in the world and in the past Australian scientists have had to travel overseas every time they wanted to study something very closely. Synchron works by generating an electron beam which is then accelerated in a circle and that generates light a million times brighter than the sun. It all starts with a massive storage ring, magnets and a vacuum tube. A device known as a LINAC starts to accelerate the electrons. Then the booster ring increases the energy. The storage ring circulates the electrons, creating the very bright light. Then a device known as the beam line captures the light and filters it into the labs for experiments. It's a complicated process and it could be dangerous. Once it's switched on, the synchrotron will be radioactive, so there'll be no more walking through it. These microwaves here are just about the most power-hungry things I could find in the entire office. They're still not quite as thirsty as a synchrotron though. Think enough power to supply electricity to an entire suburb and you're probably getting close. For the record, that's three billion volts. In case you're wondering, the word synchrotron is not the name of a long-lost transformer. The name synchrotron comes from synchro, which is Greek for time, and tron, which is device, and we need the electrons to come back in exactly the right time so we can accelerate them. For now, the synchrotron will be strictly confined to important lab experiments, but they're already predicting it could be used to solve some of the world's most baffling mysteries. An overseas synchrotron is currently trying to solve the mystery of composer Beethoven's death. Brett LaFrance reporting for TTN. Thanks, Brett.